If you're subscribed to this channel, then you already know that Celestron is the leading brand for consumer telescopes. They manufacture all kinds of telescopes. Previously, we gave a little overview of all the telescopes in the SLT series. In this video, we will cover only the two biggest telescopes, 127 SLT and 130 SLT. Here, SLT stands for Star Location Telescope. First, we will see the details of these telescopes, and then we'll see how they are different from each other. Let's see the details of the Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT. This is the second largest telescope from the SLT series. It has an aperture of almost 5 inches, which is about 127 millimeters. The telescope has a focal length of 1,500 millimeters and a focal ratio of 12. The telescope comes with two eyepieces, one measuring 25 millimeters and the other 9 millimeters. With this telescope, you can get 60 times magnification with a 25 millimeter eyepiece and 167 times magnification with a 9 millimeter eyepiece. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 300 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 18 times. The telescope has a computerized single fork alt azimuth mount. The load capacity of this mount is 8 pounds or around 3.7 kilograms. The weight of the mount is 5 pounds or around 2.6 kilograms. The tripod also weighs the same as the mount, around 2.6 kilograms. Let's see the details of the next star 130 SLT. This is the biggest telescope from the SLT series. It has an aperture of 130 millimeters, around 5.1 inches. Its focal length is 650 millimeters, and its focal ratio is 5. This telescope also comes with two eyepieces, 25 millimeters and 9 millimeters, and you can get 26 times magnification with a 25 millimeter eyepiece and 82 times magnification with a 9 millimeter eyepiece. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 307 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 19 times. This telescope also has a computerized single fork alt azimuth mount. The mount and tripod of both telescopes are the same, with similar carrying capacities. They both have data on 40,000 celestial objects. The biggest and most significant difference between these two telescopes is their optical design. The optical design of the 127 SLT is Moxita Cas A grain, and the optical design of the 130 SLT is reflector type telescope. Maskatov cast a grain type fall under the catadioptric type of telescope. If you don't know the different types of telescopes, then you should watch this video on the channel. What is the Maxitov cast a grain type? Maxitov cast a grains are another type of compound telescope, similar to Schmidt cast a grains. These Maxitov telescopes use spherical mirrors to collect light. They have a curved lens in the front to correct for any aberrations. It's also called a corrector plate. The corrector lens on a Maxitov telescope has a simple spherical curvature. It is easy to manufacture these curved lenses. The secondary mirror in the Maxitov Pass A grain has a thin layer of aluminum at the back of the corrector lens. The Maxitov Pass A grain telescope do not need any alignment. One more difference you'll notice is that both the 127 SLT and the 130 SLT have almost similar apertures, but the difference between the focal length and focal ratio is quite high. Maxitov Pass A grain telescopes use a corrector plate and a convex mirror. Because of this, Maxitov telescopes usually have a longer focal length and a high focal ratio. Because of the higher focal lengths, you can get higher magnification with Maxitov Pass A grain telescopes. If you want to know more about the focal length and focal ratios of a telescope, then you should watch this video. What can you see with these telescopes? The Nexstar 127 SLT has a long focal length and slower focal ratio. So such telescopes will give you a narrow field of view. This is good for viewing planets and nearby objects as you can use the higher magnification to view the details of that object. So with 127 SLT, you can see the Moon, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, etc. 130 SLT is a reflector type telescope and its focal length is less and it has a faster focal ratio. 
A fast focal ratio is good for deep space observations. So 130 SLT will give you a wide field of view. You can see the lunar surface, Venus and its phases, the polar caps on Mars, Jupiter and its four moons, and Saturn with its rings visible. Some bright deep space objects can also be seen with this telescope. Usually a 5-inch telescope is kind of an entry-level telescope for deep space observation. So which one should you buy? Usually when buying a telescope, price is the most important factor. But in the case of these two telescopes, there is not much difference between the price. So it all depends on what you want to observe with your telescope. Maxitoff Pass 8 Grain telescopes are compact and very easy to carry along. These telescopes have very little chromatic aberration and are good for viewing planets. So if you just want to observe the moon and planets with a great detail, then 127 SLT is a good telescope for you. If you want to observe the moon and planets and get familiar with some deep space objects, then you should go with the Nexstar 130 SLT. But as it's only a 5-inch aperture, don't expect too much deep space performance. Both of these telescopes use the same mount. The mount sometimes vibrates, which you can overcome with anti-vibration pads. If you just want to choose between these two telescopes, then you should buy the Nexstar 127 or the 130 SLT, depending on what you want to observe. But if you can stretch your budget, a better telescope than these two is the Nexstar 6SE, which is superior to those two and has a big enough aperture for viewing planets and deep space objects. This telescope is perfect for any type of astronomer and will serve you well over the long term. You can watch the details of this telescope here. We hope this video helped you understand the difference between these telescopes, and if it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.